Traditionally, in the fourth way, it's really based on questions and answers. In the meetings with Gurdjieff and Ospensky and Nicole and people like that, if people didn't ask questions, the meeting was over. There was, in fact, I think you read in one of the books that they had a meeting and, and Mr. Gurdjieff came in. He was kind of the visiting fireman. And uh, nobody had any questions, so he left. We take so much for granted. I didn't come here with any questions. I just came here for you to just tell me whatever you're going to tell me. Well, that's great, but wouldn't it be better if you actually had a name? What well, name? Well, what do you mean? Well, you know, like a direction, like a goal, like some place you wanted to be, some place you wanted to go. Well, I don't know. I never really thought of that. Well, think about it. Well, think about that. Wouldn't it be better if you went somewhere for a reason? If you showed up here with questions? If you showed up here where you had actually thought about being here? Not just came here like, what, what, what are you doing here? Well, I don't know. My, my feet brought me here. Uh, but the car, the car just came here. I mean, think about it. What are you doing here? Well, it's Sunday, isn't it? Is, is, is this what we do on Sunday? No, we're not doing anything like that. That's all mechanical. That has nothing to do with doing. That has nothing to do with being awake. That has nothing to do with consciousness. That's just the machine, the wheels turning. Well, what are you doing here? Well, I don't know. The wheels turned and I, and then the next thing I know, you were asking me what I was doing here. Well, I don't know. I was like, am I not supposed to be here? What did I do something wrong? No, think through this. You know, think this through. I, I think sometimes, well, you know, do you have any questions? No, I, I can't even get people to say, no, I don't have any questions. They just look at me. Well, you don't really expect an answer, do you? Well, yes, I, I do, actually. That's why I'm asking you the question. Do you have any questions? The, the, the silence is deafening. Well, you have a question? I'm ready. Okay. Um, this morning while I was meditating, it seemed to me that the thing in me that I call an observer seems to really be a part of my false personality who likes to say, hey, this is what I observe, and it just is making a judgment. Yes. That's a very good observation. So I'm like, how the hell do I deal with that? That's, that's how you deal with it. You just did deal with it. Okay. Think about this. Think about what you're saying. This is great because this ties right into this other question I've got. There are several ways I separate depending upon the level of identification. If I'm not doing the separation correctly, I'd like to know. First of all, this is incredibly formatory. What are you doing? Well, I'm observing myself. Really, it looks like you're sleeping. Oh, well, yes, it's, it's a new kind of observation that I've invented. Yeah. <laughs> new kind of self-observation that I've invented. You just kind of snore, and then every once in a while you snark. And when you snark, you wake up and you go, oh, I must have been sleeping. Yeah, and that's, you know, self-observation. And it is self-observation. Really, when you think about self-observation, self-observation is really like, suddenly you realize, oh my God, I, I've been asleep. I've, I've been asleep. That's self-observation. When you realize, when you really realize, oh, I've been asleep. That's self-observation. So she says, this person says, the first way is to separate inside between false personality and essence when essence observes false personality and is contained within the same psychological body. I'm lost here. I don't know what that means. The same psychological body. It's like, how many psychological bodies do you have? I can barely manage one. So I hope they're not more. If there are more, I don't know what to do with them. You know, I'm having a difficult time just with this one. I'm having a difficult time remembering that I have a psychological body. I have a difficult time remembering that I'm here. I'm usually so absorbed and glued to the events in life and whatever, whatever seems to be sucking my brain out my eyeballs that I can't remember that I'm here, let alone which psychological body I'm in. So I, I can't, my mind doesn't work like that. Now, that doesn't mean that yours can't and doesn't. It's just that mine doesn't. I'm too trapped, glued to life. I'm too identified with everything to be able to pull away far enough to see I've got this psychological body or that psychological body or how many psychological bodies I have. I don't know. I'm happy to just identify less. This is, maybe this is why I'm so happy. I mean, when you think about it, it's like, you know, I look at, I look at people and I think, you know, you don't really seem very happy. I feel like, kind of like a happy idiot. Like I've been watching Captain Kangaroo too long or something. I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy to be in this work. I'm happy to know you. I'm happy to, to, to know that my job is to love you. 
My job is to accept you. My job is to accept this life as it is. To simply say, okay, well, this is how it is. Not to judge it, not to criticize it, not to fix it. Just to accept it as it is, or this, this is the way it is. You know, think, see, you see how I can't stop smiling about that? It's so simple. It's so clean. It's so pure. It's so beautiful. You're you, and all I have to do is love you. I don't have, to, I don't have anything else to do. All I have to do is love you. I don't have to understand you. Isn't that a good thing? Because you're complex. I read this question, I think, wow, you're really complex. I don't know. The second way is when the separation is between this psychological body and the interesting stranger who's sitting across the room. This works pretty good in most situations. Do you mean the interesting stranger sitting across the room like that other person? Because usually the, other, the, the interesting people sitting across the room in my life are you. I look, at, I look around and I go, whoa, that's an interesting person. I would have never thought of that. I wonder why they said that. I wonder why they're doing that. That's interesting. So, so for me, that's the interesting. I don't usually see myself like sitting across the room. The best I can do is wake up sometimes in the middle of doing something really stupid and go, well, that's dumb. I think I better stop that. Oh, well, wait, I can't, I can't seem to stop it. <laughs> well, I'll be, holy, it's doing what it wants. And there's nothing I can do about it. It's like riding a wild bull at a rodeo. That's what my life is like. It's like, and my hand stuck. Yeah. My hand stuck in the rope. And it's like, oh man, I can't get out of this. And the bull is going to kill me if I don't get off it. That's what my life is like. So I don't get a lot of these moments. The third method of separation is when I'm so identified with the situation that one psychological body is observing another psychological body in another universe being so far away makes it easier to look. I'm lost. I mean, I'm lost. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's like. I have no way of relating to that. I have no experience of that. The very best that I can do is to look at you and go, this person's living in another universe. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get why that's so important to them. But for, to me, to, for, for me to look at myself and do that, that's rare. Every once in a while, I can look at myself and go, what is it thinking? Who is that? That's not I. What, what, what a silly way to live life. That's good for me. My question is, is it okay to employ these various methods or is it better to stay with the method described in the fourth way? I don't even know the method described in the fourth way. I don't even know what method you're talking about. All I know is that you need to remember yourself and that you, and that you don't. That basically you imagine that you do. I know that. I know that by watching you. And I know that from my own life, watching myself. It's like, I don't remember myself. I get absorbed in every little thing. Every little thing captures me. It just captures me and it freezes me in that situation. And then I'm a machine. I'm in the situation. It, the wheels are turning and I'm going and I have no idea what's going on. I think I know what's going on. I think I know all about it. I think I've got all the answers. But later when I can be separate from the actual situation and look at it, I can see that I was absolutely, totally controlled by the events. But that's all afterwards. That's not during. It's rare to have that for me, during. All I can say is I'm very fortunate to be among such psychological giants as you because I don't have these experiences. For me, this struggle is really in the trenches. I mean, like, I look at it and I go, I'm never going to make it. But I don't care. I don't care if I never make it because I'm happy. I'm happy to have this work. I'm happy to have you. You. I am happy to have you in my life. I'm happy to have you in my life. Why? Because you offer me so much. You give me so much to work on. It's just, just looking at you makes me happy. Looking at you frowning like that makes me happy. Because I know that if I say looking at you frowning like that, you'll smile. It makes me happy to see you smile. This work is about being happy. This isn't about slavery to principles, to some book. This is about being happy because you have found something that is meaningful and you have recognized its meaning. You have valued something that is truly valuable and you have begun a journey, a long journey, a difficult journey, yes, of a lot of effort, but a journey that will lead you to liberation and freedom, a journey that will lead you out of your misery and into happiness. So you may as well be happy now because you're on the path. So like, get happy. Did I answer that question? Because if I did, I didn't know it.